hi guys so as you guys know if you saw my instagram post i'm not feeling the best and we're still moving and things are kind of crazy around here but i thought it would be pretty easy to do a q a video with some questions that you guys asked me on my instagram so here we go <laughs> okay so the first question is when did you start hobby horsing and why? This is actually kind of a funny story. So I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I saw a post by Artemis's Hobby Horses. I think that's what it's called. And I saw somebody riding a hobby horse and I thought, what the heck, if that is so weird. <laughs> and then I found myself continuing to watch those types of videos and continuing to like, look more into it, even though I was like, oh, that's so weird. And then I was like, okay, I'm doing this. And then I made my own horse. My first horse was Zara. And I eventually got my first commissioned horse, which was Nova. And yeah, that's how I started hobby horsing. And it was about a year ago, I think. I've been, I've been hobby horsing for only like a year. Okay, so the next question is from Ira Hobby, Horse Hobby Horses. I'm probably gonna be pronouncing lots of these names wrong, but it says, how many hobby horses do you have? And I love you too, Ira. I've seen your account and it's really cool. Um, I have actually 11 hobby horses. Actually 11 hobby horses. Uh, and more coming, I mean. Hopefully this guy will be done soon. He's kind of messed up. I haven't made a horse in a while. Okay, this next question is from Ohio Hobby Horsing, who is a big fan of mine. And I love her very much. She was the person who bought, uh, she named him Galileo. He was the Frisian in the video about what you need to know before buying a hobby horse. She asked me, what would you do without horses? Oh geez, um, I'd be living a pretty sad life. So that would mean no star stable, no hobby horsing, no actual horses. Honestly though, I'd probably just be doing a lot of dog things and like other animal things because it's not just horses. I'm just kind of a crazy animal person. So if horses weren't around and they just didn't exist, I mean, that would be horrible. <laughs> But I'm just a big animal person, so I'd be playing with birds, learning about birds, playing bird games, I guess. I'm making a video! <clears throat> I'd be playing bird games, dog games, animal games in general, farming games, things like that. Probably more video games. <coughs> <coughs> you can see I'm sick. <coughs> Uh, but I would be playing animal games. Probably, there'd probably be a lot more video games in my life if horses weren't around. Because I really like video games. And the horses are like the thing that makes me go outside. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so the next question is, how old were you when you first rode a horse? And the answer to that is I was six years old. I'm 16 now, so I've been riding horses for 10 years. Um, I started out with uh, I didn't have a horse for a very long time, but I just did like horse riding lessons. And I'm not counting the times I was like on pony rides, you know, cause I don't think that really counts. The first time I really steered a horse around and like, you know, had a lesson. That was when I was six years old, which is actually kind of early, I think. I know people have started earlier, but yeah, I guess it started pretty young. So the next question is, what is your favorite hobby horse? I don't like picking favorites, but I have three. So you guys know about Nova, who's my horse from Ekaterina. I love her. I don't ride her as much because she's just so fancy. I don't really want to like mess her up. And then my favorite horse that I made is Hurricane, who is in my championship video. And Patch is also one of my favorite horses. He was made by a friend of mine. Uh, he was also in the championship video where I was deciding if I wanted to buy him or not. So yeah, I ended up getting him and he's like, He's one of my favorites. He might be my favorite. So the next question is how long have I made hobby horses? And it was basically, you know, when I first started, but my first hobby horse was a broom. <laughs> His name was Firefly. Um, 
I don't know which broom it was now because they all kind of look the same at our house. But you don't really need a hobby horse to get started hobby horsing. So if you're, you know, learning how to make them or waiting on an order to come in, you can do it on brooms and sticks and, you know, just start practicing for once you get a real one. And, you know, the head of a broom can sometimes be shaped kind of, I don't know, like a box. And I pretend that that was the horse. And then eventually I got a stick and a sock and I stuffed the sock with plastic bags and I put the sock on top of the stick and it was kind of a floppy horse head and her name was Jackie and she was my first horse and then I made Zara and then I got one named Nova so the next thing that somebody responded to my question sticker thing on Instagram said you have two dogs, which is kind of oddly phrased. So I'm just gonna assume that that question means, how many dogs do you have? And I have not one, not two, but seven dogs. <laughs> we have seven dogs. Um, we have three schnauzers and there are like, they're indoors, you know? And then we have a golden doodle and three Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix puppies that are outdoor dogs. So yeah, we have a lot of dogs. Okay, and somebody asked me how much are commission horses, which isn't necessarily like a personal question, but I can answer it. Uh, depending on the commission and whether or not you want a stick included, the stick doesn't change how much I earn from making the horse, it only changes the shipping price. So, uh, with with a stick, well, with or without a stick, the horse is, with a bridle, $130 um, for a commission horse, a custom horse, plus shipping, which can range. So with a stick, depending on where you are, sometimes shipping can be $50 with a stick, but if I send it without a stick, it's often like $15 instead. So it's a good idea to put the stick on at your own home because it can be cheaper that way. But they take a long time to make and they're kind of draining to make. That's why I don't make them all the time. Uh, so yeah, $130 plus shipping. Okay, and the next question is how many horses do you eventually want? <coughs> I assume that this means real horses. And I really just want one really good real horse. You know, that, oh! Oh! I just popped my hand or something. Ah! Okay, well, I would want one really good horse, you know, that I have a good bond with and does what I ask too well. Uh, and preferably one that can jump because I really like jumping with that sort of discipline. But I don't want a lot of real horses. I prefer to just have one really well-rounded one. And for hobby horses, if that question was about hobby horses, I want infinite hobby horses because I can never have enough and I have an addiction. The next question is, what does your dream horse look like? And I can tell you exactly what it looks like. It is a black and white paint Gypsy Vanner. That's my favorite breed. And, oh, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want. And if it wasn't a Gypsy Vanner, I also really like, I like buckskins. Oh, and flea bitten. I really like flea bitten. Ooh, this is a fun question. So it says, what color tack do you like? So if I had my own custom like eventing outfit, would probably be a sky blue saddle pad with a sky blue polo shirt, um, a black helmet, black boots, um, tan breeches, uh, and a brown like chestnut saddle and bridle with either white or light blue leg wraps. That would be cool. That's kind of my favorite thing, and I like to wear that when I'm riding in Star Stable too. I actually wore it for my first horse competition. Okay, somebody asked me, have you ever competed? And if you're asking regarding hobby horses, I've competed once, aside from like mini competitions with Sophia. But yeah, that's in my Lucky Hooves championship video. Check that out. <laughs> 
um, my best competition horse. The only one I've actually competed with is Hurricane. So I'd have to say him, but I also really want to try Patch Out. Let me think, any others? No, I think I, when I make more horses, then I definitely want to make some athletic breeds. The next question, which I think is a very important one, am I scared of judgment by others for hobby horsing? Absolutely. Well, I'm not actually really scared, but it does happen quite a bit. People are judgy, but when you think about it, they have no reason to be judgy, and they're probably only being judgy because they had a bad day, or wish that they had a childhood as fun as yours, or adulthood. I don't judge. I'm like practically in between adult and child, so, but I don't know. I just really enjoy doing it, and I'm not going to let anybody stop me, and I hope that none of you guys allow others to stop you. Go hobby horse around your neighborhoods, hobby horse on the beach. I did that. That's also in my lake video. Uh, I, I used to be kind of scared of it, but not really anymore. Very few people actually really care. You think about it a lot more, and then when you go out, I mean, even if people do care, who cares? Like, we're having a fun time, and it's really none of their business. So, honestly, don't be scared to try it. Just have fun outside with your hobby horse. Jump around, buck around, play with your friends. Just have a good time. Don't care what other people think. The next question is, how do you make your manes? I'm not gonna answer that because actually, I'm going to make a how to make a hobby horse video in English. So you can see that there. It will be a little while till it's out though because that's a hard video to make because it takes me a couple weeks to make a hobby horse. So my favorite hobby horsing memory, I have really enjoyed going over to my friend Katie's house, the one who made Patch and hosted the Lucky Hooves Championships show. That is definitely one of them. Uh, and then also, every video I've made with Sophia. Sophia, come here. I'm making a video. Yeah, come here. Come! <laughs> Uh, but every video I've made with her is so much fun to make. And I really enjoy seeing the videos that she records and just jumping around with her and seeing her fall and putting it into slow motion. Uh, that's like the best, best memory, seeing Sophia fall <laughs> and throwing my horse. <laughs> The next show is what is the funniest horse show you've competed in? And I've only been in one actual horse show and one hobby horse show. So both of those would have to be it. But I think what was funny about my first show on my horse Buster, my real horse, uh, I fell off. <laughs> it was my first show and actually Katie, the one who let me ride her Icelandic, she trotted over and like I almost crashed into her. <laughs> And, well, we both almost crashed into each other, and Buster, like, flailed around, and I just fell, and I was like, oh, I got a concussion. I, I didn't, but it hurt, and I was in a bad mood for the rest of that show, but I actually got second place, which was fun, for the jumping round for my first show, and I got first place in the dressage. I was the only one who was competing in my division, so that's fun. My dream hobby horse would definitely be... I really like the fancy warm blood kinds, the really athletic ones. Uh, I think I'd like a chestnut or a black, just a really athletic looking one. I'd like that. I just can't really perfect my design. I haven't perfected it yet. So... I haven't been able to make a super athletic looking one yet. But hopefully that's coming soon. I'm trying to make this guy look athletic. He kind of does. Actually, he's kind of cute. I kind of hated him, but now I'm starting to kind of like him. He's not actually that skinny. I haven't stopped him or finished him yet. And he has pins in his face. What is my favorite sport aside from hobby horsing and riding? Now I assume that means I can't say riding real horses, so. Yay. I'm really not an athletic person, aside from equestrian things. I really like swimming. Not like athletically though, just for fun. Uh, I like tennis. Tennis is actually really fun. 
I don't know. I'm not really that athletic of a person. I like running around and playing, but I just, I don't like sports that feel like sports. Yeah. How high can I jump? So I can jump 80 centimeters. That's the highest I have recorded myself jumping. Maybe I've jumped higher, but I can't jump that high. I'm, I'm like adult sized. I don't know if you can tell in the videos, but like I'm about the size of an adult, a little smaller, but it's kind of hard to get all that weight off the ground. <laughs> I, I also, hopefully I'll get better at that. I just, I want to be able to jump really high. I also am scared too sometimes, like I'm always scared to hit the jumps. Yeah, but 80 centimeters, that's the highest I have recorded myself jumping. Will I ever sell just tack for horses? That's kind of tricky. I would need a to figure out a way to get your horse's measurements. It's easiest to make tack for a horse that I'm like holding, you know, so I make the tack around the horse, but I could probably do it. And it would probably be around $20 to $30 plus shipping, depending on the design of the bridle. I also make blankets and bonnets and lead ropes and harnesses. But yeah, that's the end of my Q&A video. Uh, if you have any other questions, comment them down below. And also let me know, what is your favorite hobby horsing memory, either from my channel or my Instagram or your own? Tell me all about it. I love to read the comments. And thank you so much for the support I've been getting <coughs> my god <gasps> ah! um <laughs> thank you for all of the support i've been getting i appreciate it so much i feel so loved and it's really motivating to keep making these videos and i'm so glad that you guys like them and once again coming soon how to make a hobby horse video this is the horse in the video i actually he kind of ended up kind of crooked but whatever but thank you so much for participating and helping make this video happen. And goodbye. Bye-bye and see you next time. Hopefully I will make a video soon and hopefully I won't be sick.